เครอสลินเอายองยกเฮงอายุ Why must read out my name so loud? Do you know why we are here today? We are here today. I don't know why. You don't know why? To celebrate my life. <laughs> not right? bad, not bad. Yes, that's pretty much it. I mean, we celebrate every year on your birthday, lah. But now they were really taking time to like go in depth. Okay, so I just wanted to share also why I decided to make something like this. On my channel, so you know, I've been telling you that when you ask me where am I going, I'll tell you that I'm going for counseling. Yeah. So it's been like, especially last year, a time of me getting to really look at my life, lah. If I could do anything and create any type of content, what is the content that I want to do? There's so much more to me than food or making people laugh. There's so much that we together have overcome, right? Mm. And so much life that we've lived that I. Feel like people haven't seen yet, mm. and because so much of my story is intertwined with your story, I think it's just nice to talk to you about it, lah. Because actually, mummy, do you realize right that um, most of what happened right is before I was born? Yeah. So I don't even know. There are a lot of things you don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's why I just thought it'd be nice to talk about it today, and I also want to thank you for being very courageous, lah. I know this is not easy for you to share. Not easy. This is something like I feel it's very shameful. Uh, okay, wait. So, so that we can like just take that leap of faith together. What is the thing that has been so hard for you to tell? It's like, oh, I have a boyfriend. I'm going with this guy. He's he's a family man. He has a family. It's so hard to tell, right? It's so hard to tell. And just to be clear, this relationship ended like thirty-five years ago. Maybe yeah, around that. Around there, there. Yeah. about like thirty plus years, lah. So mm -hmm. just to be clear, it's already ended, right. right? Yeah. Let's just start with like, how did you and Dad meet? That time I was just fresh from school, and I found a job working in a pharmacy. How old were you when you say fresh from? School? And that time I was like eighteen, nineteen. He's fifteen years my senior. Fifteen years, one five. It's not that I don't know he's fifteen years your senior, but just that I never thought of you guys in yeah. the context of being an eighteen year old. But at at that time I never really think of the age. The age gap. Really, man. I don't I never think of it, no. He's also working around there, that area. So he used to come into the, the pharmacy to you know chit chat, and to buy me snacks for tea break and things like that, just to <laughs> uh, touch, touch my heart, uh. Touch your heart. <laughs> just to impress me. But anyway, he's a kind, kind man. Uh -huh. right? Caring kind of person. He like you so sure kind lah. So, in time to come, slowly, gradually, then he started to date me. So we went. But did you know he was married with another family already? Yeah. So when things started to progress and your, I guess, became more like romantic, then do you feel like I really shouldn't be doing this because he's he's a family man? That time I. Yeah, after I lost my mom, I was like, yeah, searching for somebody could love me and you know give me the kind of care. So mm. maybe he does that. He does that. Yeah. And it touches, you know, it touches my heart. You lost your mom like suddenly, yeah. Yeah, suddenly heart attack. Oh, and you were very sudden. You were like. So I was like lost because, right. yeah, who again to take care of the household? Mm. My dad is also always not around, not the kind of typical family man, you know. Mm -hmm. So my mom is always the one who tend to us, take care of us, and mm. yeah. Can yeah, you tell us a, a time right where, like, there are certain things he did, right? You remember that made you fall in love with him? So the way he cared for me. Uh huh. Like what? How he made me laugh also with his jokes and all. 
he's very good at that. Yeah, right. Hey, do you think do you think we are similar in that? Because yeah. I find that I find that we both are able to make people laugh. And I always think that maybe and I get it from he's him. He's very good at the uh, in talking. Talk 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 talk. <laughs> very good at got a gift of, you know, yeah. speech. So maybe from there he know how to sweet talk me. Uh. Ah. <laughs> the thing that sweet me off my feet <laughs> is the day when I was twenty one. Uh -huh. Yeah, my birthday. What happened? So he sent me a big bouquet of red roses. I was like carried away with it. Oh yeah, that was sweet because those days, not many people will receive flowers or, you know, yeah. things like that. So, so he know how to win my heart. Send me a big bouquet of roses. I was like, so happy, so happy, you know, speechless. Uh. I just asked you, because uh, I went to go and dig in your room today. <laughs> when you met, when you are in this age, right, do you look like, like this? Yeah. Yes, uh. Yeah. You are very pretty. All the while, eh, mommy. That's why I have men <laughs> going after me, but I don't know why I ended up oh. like that. You know? When I saw these photos, right, there was one that, that in particular, that you are with him. Yeah. First of all, this outfit looks really cool. You are in a tube top, high waisted belt, and that looks really cool. So, yeah. where, where were you guys here? This one, I think we are in Hong Kong. Oh, you're in Hong Kong? Why are you doing that? Holiday, yeah, with him. Right. We went to Hong Kong, we went to the States, we went to Philippines, we went to Taiwan. Wow. We went to Malaysia. Are you serious? We went quite a lot of a few places for And holiday. the US, right? You say US. Yeah. In my mind it was just like I knew you went to I knew when I was younger, I wanted to go to the US. Then you were telling me, Oh, you've been to this place, that place. Yeah, yeah. So there's more. I didn't know you went to so many places. Yeah. That time he was working overseas abroad. Oh, so, so when you are in this relationship, right, and you know he has another family, how did y'all make it work? I imagine you have to hide a lot, right? When you are dating or... Yeah, it's difficult. Like... Uh, my family also don't know that I'm dating, we are dating. Oh. And he has to lie his way through, I don't know what he, how he do it. Right. Right? Mm. But then, he kept telling me that he's not happy, Mm. At home, like the spouse have no time for him, and mm. uh, I mean whatever story he told me, I was like, mm. so I thought, okay lor, maybe we can, you know, be together. And he's telling me that about he's talking about divorce and all on the later part. Mm. So I'm just like hoping, uh. yeah, waiting. Well, you so, hope very long, huh? I hope and waited. So, I always what I hear is what in what excuses or empty promises or is. Okay, I've got a I've got like a gapo question. So, did you ever b have an encounter with his family? Ah, uh, oh dear. <laughs> Do I need to? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to if you're not comfortable. Don't worry about it. She did come to my blog with a kid, like to ask me to leave him. Oh no. And mm. one day while I was going to work, I was, yeah, I boarded the bus. And there come this lady with a kid. She just whacked me, whacked me, and whacked me, and scold me. Ah. Oh no. That was like, I got shocked because oh, no. I didn't expect all this to happen. On the bus. There's so many people in the bus and every day people look at me, they know who am I, where I'm going to, where I work. Yeah. So it's very embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. So I quickly get down from the bus, I alighted at a, and I was so shocked, I was like, mm. I almost got killed. I almost got knocked down by a car. Because I'm your son, I feel for you, right? And like, when I hear this story, I'm like, that's my mom, right? And I'm defensive. But I have to be a bit objective and take myself out of the situation and say like, you know you're dating a married man. Uh, wasn't it you who are in the wrong? You're in the wrong at that time, you know? And this is just like a, a consequence to that. At that time when you're really in love, yeah. right? You're in darkness, total darkness. 
there are a lot of things you don't see. Mm. All you want is want to be with him, mm. and that he he leave the leave her and come to me at that point of time. Mm. I just want him. I want to be with him. So mm. after all this happened, he left the family. He packed. Mm. I thought, wow, okay, that's it. He was. He's going to divorce. Choose you. Yeah. Yeah. But then, after a while, she went to him and asked him to go home. Yeah. Her. So he did lah. Then I thought, okay, that opened my eyes, and I know that. Then I start to realize that means he cannot leave them. Mummy, I wanted to say though, you know, I, I don't know if this means anything anymore lah. But when I do speak to him, right, I can tell that in his life, ah. Uh, he has loved you a lot, yeah. Again, right, I mean, when we when we talk about this, because I mean, Dad is watching. You know, he's a big fan. I I asked him that day about his childhood, about his upbringing, and I just started to understand that he didn't have parents around him to guide him. Actually, pretty much like you. So y'all didn't have. Okay. His mom is still around. Yeah, but his mom was always just playing mahjong. Yeah. You know, there's no guidance for yeah. him. Yeah, the dad is not with him. Yeah, yeah, and the dad passed away when he was young. So when I discussed this with him after you know going for counselling, I just asked him about his own family. Right, I could see that overall it's just um, there was not a, a lot of guidance for your. Mm. That there was no yeah. one to tell you, hey, you yeah. should you should or you shouldn't, and help right. you to see more. Yeah. He himself also was like lost. You know, and that's the sense that I get for, from him now that he's looking back, lah. Yeah, how did it eventually lead towards you walking away from the relationship? There's this, this guilt inside me. You know, it's like, mm. not nothing is so. You know, you just feel that you're lying. I'm lying also. You know, it's. I mean, in over there, I have my Christian friends, my church friends. Then it's like for me to introduce him as my husband, mm. because I know the fact is he's not my husband. Right. Right. Yeah. So I felt very lousy, mm. and sometimes I have to lie about certain things which I don't feel very good. Also. This was so when you had me. Ah, uh, is the ending ending part of your relationship with you? Almost already. So what what happened? So when the time is due. To deliver you, I, I, I choose the date. Yeah. Because my doctor say you your head just don't come down. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to go by cesarean section. Yeah. So I have to choose a date. On the due date, I check into the hospital alone. Alone. Uh. I was like, huh? No, but he's not even. Trying to fly back to be with me, to share the joy or something. When we are, we are told to do the birth, he was back home. He came back to see you. But first thing first, he asked me, "Are you sure this child is mine?" I was, wow. Now you you say this sort of thing to me, mm. right? Mm. When I when I want a kid, you can just refuse me or say no. Not after I deliver you, you put this kind of question to me. Are you sure this kid is mine? Mm. Mm. So it really pierced through my heart. Mm. I ended the relationship is when he wrapped up his business and came home with the luggage. So I thought, wow, he's back. At least somebody to enlighten my burden a bit. Yeah. I, I, the first thing first, I asked him, "Oh, you're back. So, are you going to work?" He say, "No, I'm not going to work." I asked him to take care of you, so I can go and work. Mm. Uh, no, I'm going home. So I said, "Okay." Mm. I didn't even like ask him to stay or beg him to stay, and you talk so much. I said, "Okay, that's it," because I'm already prepared. Because to you, that is him making a decision, lah. Yeah. At the end of it, it become like meaningless. Yeah, I have to go through all this over and over and over. Mm. I have to beg you to stay. When I can't take it anymore, when I let go, that's it. There's <laughs> no turning back already. That's me. Yeah. And you really do. <clears throat> and you really I really do. Yeah. yeah. So stop means stop. I I didn't even. 
miss him or even want to call him to talk or ask him to come over. Mm. No. Really a full stop. One reason why I wanted to have you share your story is because I realized that for a very long time, right, this was such a difficult thing for you that you couldn't even feel like you could be yourself around your close friends, the people around you. And I just thought that the shame had such a grip on your life, you know. Yes. That I, I also don't like to see you because I'm not ashamed of you. I'm not ashamed of our background and what we... What no, we, otherwise you wouldn't <laughs> want to talk to me about this, right? Yeah, yeah. But I just hope that in sharing your story, you get to remove that, that shame. Like, it will come off you. Like. If people don't ask me anything about my past, about my what happened, it's, it's okay. But once they ask me, I like have this guilt. I even have this guilt about having you and bringing you here to suffer with me, to go through all this hardship with me and things like that. Mm. But I know it's, it's not right because I have to, I have to let go. If not, I wouldn't have the peace. Mm. You know, there are going to be people who are watching this yes. and maybe they look at you and they would never expect yes. that Auntie Ross, who looks so wholesome, have yeah. gone through all that, yeah. right? Some people might, might be in a similar situation as you Yes. Or they might be in a relationship that yes. you were like you were once in. What would you say to them who are who are watching this? Leave. Cut it off. You have mm. more for me I feel like it's really not worth it at the end of it. Mm. So many parties are hurt mm. and not not you are not happy mm. and you have to hide and you're always in the dark. Mm. Right? You cannot see the light. I cannot keep going after my past. Yeah. But I just have to embrace it. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to say, mom, thank you so much for sharing because I know this is not easy for you. Yeah. And I think for me, I've always viewed us as a team uh, because all, all that we go through when we are growing up, right? On, only both of us know lah. Yeah. Like when we had God to, knows. and God knows, right? Like God when knows. we had to fight for a house and yeah. when we, we cannot pay the school fees yeah. and all of this. I feel that a lot of times, even though sometimes I'm the one fighting you, but we are like in it together. This playground thing still here. Last time is the one that has the has the pool. No, I can't really totally know. You have no recollection. Last time the playground is not like that, right? All Last the, time is a pool. The, the, the structure. The pool. That's how. That's how I know I'm scared of heights oh, because there's a pool here, yeah. a fireman pool. Then I don't dare to go down. Oh. You know that. Right? I won't remember because I don't come now with you. Oh right. <laughs> yeah. Do you know where is the where is the house? Uh? I don't know. No, where is the our unit? I don't know. I forgot. You point now where? This side or this side? I don't know. I thought, I keep thinking it's this side. Come. Every day, right, I would literally stand at the window, window with a stool. And then I, at the same time every day, I, I would look at you, whether you will cross the road. There's a middle partition, cross here, and mm. then you come back here. Mm. Wow. But now I understand, right? I think it's, it's because, you know, Dad left first. Yeah. So I think that me as a child was needed the assurance every day that like you are gonna not leave also. Yeah. So I will just really wait for you until mm. I see your and I can recognize <laughs> you and recognize your work. Mm. Yeah. Insecure. <laughs> Still call me insecure. Yeah, like when you feel insecure, that's how you act that way. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can you can remember us so good. So many years. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Oh, you buy from her? Yeah. Okay. So it's a <laughs> 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 <la
些。我有看到你电视剧里面有介绍吗？有介绍。对对对，啊你有。有，我看到。哎呦，我操！好像我我跟着我的他们讲。你这个很有面子，我也先给先带。对，对，我我就因为我他他 retire 了，我就带他上节目。嗯，好了，嗯，哇，很多回忆啊，回来这边呢，很多回忆。回忆啊，那你肯定会。对啊，那回忆。So besides just recalling like all the difficult times, what I really wanted to do is to celebrate your life as well and how much we've overcome together. <laughs> because, because, um, your story is proof that your bad decisions doesn't have to define you. You know what I mean? And beyond that, there's characteristics about you that I really, really admire. And by the same time, I don't quite understand, and one of which is that you are generous. So I always tell people that my mom is the most generous person I know because she gave when she had nothing, and I only give when I have something. You know, just now we we're talking about like, being a team. One of these key moments is really uh, Nepal. Mm. So we've been, you know, sort of supporting Sister Sangha in Nepal since 2013. Yeah. But yeah. actually, how this came about. It's because of you. So, I remember I was in army because I didn't have a lot of money. Then you came back from work and you told me that you were sending money to a children's home. Then I was super angry because I said, yeah. "Hello, we are so broke, right? Why the heck are you sending money? The children's, the child is here that you need to <laughs> send the money yeah, to." I remember you were so angry. Right? Yeah. No, I mean, she just asked me some like a. About my family and yeah, children. Yeah, the expenses, the monthly expenses. How much she need for the, the whole thing. I mean, monthly expenses for the, school fees and food and rental, right? Yeah, but then you roughly give me a figure. She asked me, then I said, we need this this type of thing. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know like, she sending us money. But she called me. Then I said, "Okay, my friend send you ten thousand rupees." I said, "How come?" And they said, "No, my friend will give send you money. So go and pick it up." I said, "Okay." So that was the first money. I remember that like, uh, like that's your generosity. Yes. Your giving heart. And but the thing is, I was not asking anything to her. So she just asked me, "How is everything?"、Mm. So I share about myself. And I didn't know that if she gonna send me money, then I was I I'll, I should share share more. <laughs> I didn't know that. I randomly got okay. That's praise God, you know. So yeah, ten years more than ten years. More than ten years. More than maybe 10 it's years. like fourteen years. Fourteen years. Wow. Yeah. So fast, yeah. We didn't have like lots of money. Yeah. Because I was thinking like I just have one or two child, then I can just stay with them, but. Uh, I had like a five, six children already. Some、like、we had only one cooking gas, so I've been sharing with my children a、uh, few days ago. Then,、mm. uh, when the cooking gas finished, then we said, "Okay, there is no today's fasting." Okay, then they said, "Okay, mama." And the reality was, we didn't <laughs> I remember have, you told yeah, me that. Yeah, we didn't yeah. have really like you know the food,、yeah. not like a food like we didn't have,、uh, and we didn't have a small bowl. We didn't have even the plate to eat. Yeah, our condition are really not not really good, but. Uh, we we was there as a family, so like a five children and myself, and there's one older kid, older girl with me. So those children are now 18, 19 years. Oh, so、yeah, really、they know all those story. And now I have like 19,、uh, 19,、yeah. and like a, three of them already.、Uh, they are like self support, self supported. Uh, one girl, she's married. She's in Australia. Some are doing master degree in a Bible college, you know. So some are like a, trying to be a doctors, and some are like a, trying to be a interior designer. And Bini wants to be a、wow. uh, Gorkha army. So when I see all of them, then say, oh God, it's like a, you really bless us.、Uh, we've been planning for my children once they grow up. Then,、uh, especially in Nepal, we wait until they. Uh, across 16 years、yeah. uh, for baptize, so we've been praying for last year. So we didn't know like what is the right time. So we were just keep praying, 
But finally, once Aki messaged me like we're coming, so I said, okay, this is the right time to plan for baptism mm -hmm. because like you know them since they are very young. Yes, yes. But now you can see as a young man and old man of God. Yes. So it will be joy, and I want to celebrate together. That's yeah. why I said like, oh, yeah. let's do it. Then we are able to do baptism for the nine children, which is really, it, there is no any joy I can share uh, mm -hmm. right now. It is really, I was, I'm so happy. So this is the life investment yeah. for 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 yeah, them, yeah. and I I'm really thankful with God and all of my friends and family, especially uh, Mama Rose, and for involved in this celebration. We're really blessed. So, mom, when you retired, right, it was just nice, it was like 2020 COVID period, and you, I don't know if you remember this, but you slept so much. You were just sleeping every day. Cooking a lot also for you and your friends. <laughs> okay. Fair? Okay, my, my, I retired, my last day was March 31st. Wow, you remember. And April 1st is the lockdown. Yeah. Immediately, you know. Yeah. I guess it's all God's timing here, arranged. I would tell my friends, right, like, I would look into the room, right, to see if your, your, your chest go, go up and down, like, if you are still breathing. <laughs> so, I was worried because I was like, how long is this woman going to sleep for? And then, you know, everyone will tell me, like, now that your mom is older and retired, then you got to make sure, like, she keeps her brain active and all that. So, I remember I keep nagging you, right? But eventually... He keep nagging me, find something to do, mom, find something to do. <laughs> what to do? Yeah, right. so... What I don't know what to do. I didn't expect you to do is actually, you became a volunteer. I was praying. I said, God, what you want me to do? He said, stop sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> then my neighbor one day tell me, you just go, why don't you just go behind the block and do some volunteer work? Oh, the neighbor said. Yeah. Okay. Because last time he, she did mention to me about this. Center. Handicap center to do, but I just didn't pay much attention because I was still working. Yeah. I cannot find time to do. Yeah. But now that she tell me, why you, you just don't just go over and help out and also so I went. Mm. That's how it started. When I started going there, I, I, I have the joy. Okay. I, I wasn't afraid or fearful, you know, like, or worried. I feel so good doing something for these people. And I share my love, my joy with them. I make them feel comfortable. Better than going and give my, my love away to... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow, you managed to throw shit even with the fallen there. <laughs> to, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. yeah so I, I find you. it's both, both well worth it. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> And then blessing them with all the good, good things, nice food. They are so when you look at the way they eat, you just feel so good, you know. So God bless me in this way that I can bless all these people, you know. Yeah, this is another thing that I notice about you that I tell my friends. Maybe I, I actually never get to tell you, but I got to tell my friends, which oh. is which is. 
when I started to make money, first of all, you never asked me how much I make. Mm. You've never asked me. Okay. Second of all, the only time you ever ask me for money is because you want to buy stuff for the center, yeah. or you want to give buy them pizza, low hay, yeah. uh, bowls and cups. Yeah. And maybe when you want to do your hair, but that's the only <laughs> time. If not, right, you, 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 you wouldn't. I never ever want to talk to people about money because it's a very sensitive issue. <coughs> and you are my son. To me, all this money, material things is not important to me. All I care is I want you to walk close to God. That's my concern. Mm. I want you to do His work and obey Him. Mm. That's my main, you know. Yeah. Coming from such a poor background, no, like you see, there is a temptation, or there is you. You could have gone the other way. Yeah, you yeah. could be so obsessed about money. Yeah, right? or keep going shopping every day, or buy the branded goods and all this stuff. Yeah, but you you never did. I never did because I have no, nothing before. I struggled. No money for food. Mm. Cannot pay my utilities bill until it got cut. I cannot pay your school fees. I cannot do so many things. Mm. So all this thing is like I have to pawn all my jewelry to get money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jewelry all gone. I remember that. All these things I went through, so... But I got you a new one, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the thing, so all these things, that it doesn't matter to me already. So I always tell you to manage your funds properly because these are all God's money. <laughs> yeah. And I'm very happy that you are not the type who have the money and go and, you know, shop and buy all the luxurious things and all the expensive. And nothing wrong with that. It's just for me, maybe because I learned, I, I seen you live your life like that then. Yeah, yeah, I just, I'm contented lah. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to play devil's advocate, mom. What would you say to people who might say, she's just doing all this volunteering, all this good work, just to like repay her, her past mistakes? Oh. Then, <laughs> I don't know, but there may be people who think that way. But for me, I do out of goodwill, out of love and and for God. I feel like I'm very contented, I'm very happy. We are so blessed, so it's time that we should bless other people also. So how people look at me or how they think, mm. it doesn't matter to me anymore. I must set a good example to you also. So next time when I'm not around, at least you know what to do and also to teach you, to tell you to be humble, to be modest, and to have the heart of giving. Mm. In the same way that your life completely changed for the better, mm. to anybody who's watching it and maybe in a similar situation or even a completely different situation where it's like hopeless or difficult, right? Our lives are proof that things can change for the better la, and there is really hope ahead. La. Yeah, so I really appreciate you sharing your story. I know that it's so difficult. It's, it's like months in the making. We are like talking yeah, about yeah. this at the coffee table it's for difficult. months. I think I think you'll be surprised actually. Maybe less people are judging and more people are will applaud your vulnerability and your courage to say what you've said today, lah. It doesn't matter. I'm not worried at all now. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not bothered how people look at me. So. Okay. So. Thanks, Ross. Just share, just share. Any final words? If I can, if this, if this sharing can help some people who are going through this, yeah, I'll be very happy that, you know, mm. they are able to get out of this and walk into the light, mm. right? Be happy, free, at peace, yeah. be a joyful person, do the more meaningful things mm. rather than struggling and going through all this for nothing. Okay. At the end of it is nothing. What is something? I'm at that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're something. <laughs> you're a great thing. <laughs> Done. Finish. So, you forgive your mum, okay? For the past. <laughs> While we're hugging. Yeah. You forgive me. Don't care. I'll try. Yeah. I do, I do, I do. Yeah. Love you. That yeah, you've gone through so much with me. Such a long, long journey. All your struggles. You cannot wet me. <laughs> <laughs> she loved.